Hey everybody, June Simmons, back for day 49 of the um, Sales Vision Business Games 100 Day Video Challenge and step three of the Mindset 360 in the professional level. And oh my gosh, that was another amazing training. And so um, this is on the 10 steps of, let me see how she put that. Um, 10 success principles, how to build a strong business, um, 10, the 10 principles. So, um, oh my gosh, there was a lot there to really kind of, um, do a summary on, but so what I got out of that is if God has given us a dream, then he's also given us the ability to achieve, achieve that dream and that knowledge is power and that your brain is the most intri intricate computer that there is. And so we got to be careful what we download in it. And that most people go to their graves only using 10% of their capacity. That is wild. And so, um, and that's a lot of the reason why Jillian has um, studied so many different things and learned so many different things is because she didn't want to be... Um, part of the most people that only use the 10%. So I'm going to go over, um, I'm going to try to do it fairly quick because I, I know that this could take me like 45 minutes to really go over this. So one, um, stop self-sabotage and that's, that's kind of self-explanatory, but we do do that without even knowing it sometimes. Um, I think I'm, I've been very guilty of that. And number two, uh, positive affirmations. And um, Jillian says they're the beginning point and pass to all change. So um, our conscious mind is awake 24-7. And... So it's important, um, it's important what we're downloading in there. And like the reason why Vincent is, or a lot of the reason why Vincent is the way he is, is because like when he was a little guy, Jillian would put, um, a pillow speaker next to his head with, um, positive affirmations. <laughs> and so that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, and if you hit the snooze button more than one time, then you're in the wrong profession. Let's see what else. Um, nobody can follow a parked car. And affirmations are very important if you want to be empowered. Then number three is engage in positive self-discipline. And so this is a thing, that, uh, like an exercise that Jillian would always ask her people when she was training. Would you hire yourself or fire yourself based on your self-discipline. And if you have clutter in your ho home, you have clutter in your mind. So focus is follow one course until successful. And then number four, positive self-expectancy. And that is what you think about, you bring about. And you need to be careful Let's see. Um, oh, only hang out with, um, oh, sorry about that. I just got a, uh, that was a squirrel. I just got a message on the, my computer. Okay. So what do you think about your bringing about only hang out or get advice from people that you would gladly switch places with? And I've heard that so many times. And then, um, what are you looking and expecting from the world and what is it? going to bring back to you and your result is um who you're hanging out with so and then number five positive self motivation winners dwell on their desire their desires and their purpose the goal and the dream the thing that motivates you boundaries order and structure bring simplicity peace, and such an awareness of joy when this is in place. And then six is um, having a positive attitude. 
And Jillian says that after 21, you're responsible for, um, for your future and for, for, I didn't write that down. I should have wrote that down a little bit better, but, um, then you have a powerful, oh, um, you have to have a powerful attitude in order to be successful. Nobody has ever, oh, some people, some people, um, are doing things a little later in life. And a lot of that reason is because nobody has ever stopped and gave them the time of day for them to figure this out. So, and then also a good handshake and a, and a twinkle in your eye um, shows that you have a positive attitude. And how to bring it, bring energy into the room instead of suck energy out of the room. I've been in, I, I knew a person that just sucked all the energy out of me before. And it was crazy. I was so exhausted after being around him. And so, like, I really get this one. <laughs> I really, really get this one. Um, you can tell when someone sucks the energy out of the room or brings it. And so Jillian teaches you how to bring it, how to really bring it. And so number seven, effective time management. Um, she says to get a dry ease calendar, color code it. And even, even with all technology today, she still loves that method. And number eight is capitalize on the time. No, number eight is hold on to the power of your dream. Oh, yeah. So be careful who you are hanging around. People will tell you that you aren't going to make it. Um, you know, so be careful of that. But when people are going to do that, and when they do, remember, that's the reason why um, they taught you the trigger cycle and how to reverse engineer it. So that's the reason why they taught that first is so you can catch that right in the middle of that. Okay, so, um, and kick it out, kick it out. Number nine is avoid negative people. And she discussed how hurting people hurt people. And um, people who try to steal your dreams most often are the ones that um, never achieved their own. And that you're the president and CEO of your own company. And when you, um, when you grow that know, like, and trust, that brings so much credibility and then people stay with you forever. And so, and then when you, when, if you end up happen to be around negative people, um, that you can empower them, you can help, you can help them. Um, and she says to do it without being overbearing, but you can help them try to turn around that mindset, you know, in the way that they, um, verbalize things, you know, in the language that they use and, and stuff like that. So that was, that was pretty exciting. I thought, and then number 10, Oh, and then guard your heart. That's where the, um, the, the will from the will of fruits and prosperity come from. Oh, the will of fruit and prosperity, prosperity comes from. And so I couldn't read my writing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number 10 is get rid of excuses. And, um, the only person that's going to be successful are the ones that take responsibility for, oh no, my time's almost up and it's going to end my thing. So, um, anyways, pay now, play later, play now, pay later. Um, and the door of opportunities are always marked push and you were born to be original. You don't want to die a copy and that's, ah, my, my time's up. Have a good night, you guys.